Here is part two on simplifying natural log expressions. Let's look at example one very quickly. If I look at example one, I have the natural log of e raised to the 2x plus y. So we know by the property that we discussed in the previous video that this will equal the exponent 2x plus y. For number two, we have the inverse property of exponents. I have a base e raised to a natural log. And remember in our previous video we said whenever you have a number in front of a log, that number must have came from For example two, I have a base e raised to a logarithm. And in our previous example, we talked about the inverse property of exponents. And this is uh, a case where we can use that property. We said that whenever you see a number in front of a log, we know that this number was previously a, an exponent. Okay, so I can rewrite this as e to the natural log of x minus 2 raised to the fourth power. And now if you use the inverse property of exponents, I know that this whole thing is equal to the argument. And in this case, the argument is x minus 2 raised to the fourth power. And you don't have to, sit, you don't have to foil this out. For number three, I have a 2 times the natural log of e to the x. Now there are two options you can do here. Let's do letter A. I can just leave that 2 there and it's being multiplied by the natural log of e to the x. This part I know is equal to x. So you will get 2x as your simplification for this expression. Another thing you can do is, like we said, whenever there's a number in front of a log, I know that number comes from being an exponent. And this exponent belongs to the whole argument. So that means that this whole argument here, which is e to the x, was raised to the second power. So I'm going to rewrite this here. 2 natural log of e to the x. I'm going to move that to that exponent to the argument. So this is what it looks like. It's going to look like natural log of e to the x squared because this 2, like we said, was the original exponent. Whenever you raise a power to another power, now these are the exponent rules. Whenever you raise a power to a power, you multiply the powers. So this becomes e to the x times 2, which is 2x. And now, natural log of e to the 2x by the property of, by the inverse property of logarithms, this means that this is equal to 2x. So you get the same answer. This one's much simpler. Just leave the 2 in front and multiply times whatever you get here. Now, when this happens in an exponent scenario, like in this case, you do need to bring that exponent back over here, okay?